Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily, sitting here with the MLS insider Josh Weisenhunt. I'm Nick Fershaw and we're going to start off with a CONCACAF Champions League berth on the line in the Amway Canadian Championship. The tournament begins on Wednesday. Two semifinals here, Toronto versus Montreal and the other leg, Vancouver versus Edmonton. We'll start with TFC Montreal, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Sportsnet up in Canada. Toronto's the reigning champs in this one, and they've used this bid in the CONCACAF Champions League and done well in that tournament. But the field is better this year. Montreal is a better team. Should be a good game at BMO. Yeah, it certainly is. And obviously, one thing to keep in mind here is this is essentially the equivalent of the U.S. Open Cup. Yeah in Canada. So it's it, it, it does mean something for, for a lot of these clubs. And Nick, like you said, I mean, for Montreal, I mean, they're a much improved yeah. side this year. And one thing to consider is that they were off last weekend. So it's not yeah. one of those things where they're trying to juggle lineups. And Marco Schallbaum came out and said, yeah, we're going to take this seriously. Yeah. I know what it means to win a cup. So we're going to put out a strong team. So it'll be, it'll be fun to see in that one. Well, again, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Sportsnet up in Canada. It's Toronto and Montreal. And then the nightcap, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, Edmonton at home against Vancouver on Sportsnet talking about tournaments. What about the CONCACAF Champions League? The finals open on Wednesday. Santos Laguna and Monterrey. Hercules Gomez obviously involved with Santos looking to avenge that championship league loss to Monterrey last year. We'll see if Hercules Gomez and Santos can book a trip to the Club World Cup. Next up, turning to your world, Josh, uh, on Twitter, where MLS Commissioner Don Garber uh, engaged in a sort of impromptu chat on Tuesday, covered a number of topics, and went at it with Hercules Gomez a little bit. Your highlights from this one? He talked about a number of things on Twitter on Tuesday. Yeah, well, first of all, I mean, it was just kind of wild. You know, it was the middle of the Champions League game was going on yesterday, and all of a sudden Don Garber just pops on Twitter, and it's like, hey, I'm watching the game. I'm taking a break from work. What questions do you guys have? So really kind of cool to see a commissioner of a major sports league do that, first of all. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, he was pretty canon. He went back and forth with Hercules. I think that's what a lot of people are going to take away from that in terms of Hercules kind of had a question about his contract rights and, and who and obviously sporting Kansas City and that whole situation. And then apart from that, a lot of expansion talk. I mean, he hit on Miami, St. Louis, yeah. New York, Orlando, really yeah. the full gamut. And uh, and it seems like everything is open. So it was uh, it was definitely good, and I think the fans enjoyed it too. It was good uh, to see. Expansion always the topic when Darren Garber makes himself available to the fans. You can check out the article on MLSsoccer.com. It'll give you the highlights of everything discussed in Tuesday's online chat on Twitter. Last but not least, some of the content you'll find on MLSsoccer.com on Wednesday, March to the Match podcast. Guys talking about some of the latest topics in MLS. And go back and find the power rankings from Tuesday, uh, Josh, because that's where you're going to see a lot of the comments. Some upset Chicago Fire fans. Why aren't these guys higher if the Sounders jump so many spots after their first win of the season? I don't know. It's tough because I think, I, think, I think those Chicago Fire fans are, 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 are in the right. Because yeah. their team, apart from Honor Friedrich, they're getting fit. And what we've seen the last couple weeks is that they, they look just fine. I mean, they seem to have really righted that ship. I have no problem with FC Dallas at the top, but one team I think you might take a look at, we were talking about Montreal earlier. Yeah. I mean, they, they're winless in their last two and they're coming off a bye. So it'll be really interesting to see how they respond with two matches this week. So they're up there in fourth sitting pretty, but we'll see what happens from here. You can find those power rankings on MLSsoccer.com and don't forget to get your questions into the fantasy guys, Jason Seguini and Andrew Wiebe for their starting lineup segment on Thursday. Day, at MLS Fantasy on Twitter. They'll get to as many questions as they can to get your fantasy lineup set for the weekend. It does it for us. We'll be back with a daily tomorrow.